Well, guys, we just watched the Leatherface exclusive Red Band trailer, yeah. and uh, you can catch our reaction on that video if you'd like to see our reaction. Reaction. React and review. Um, this is the review part. Let's yeah. get into this. Well, yeah, John, as a man who tends to hail the <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, as arguably your favorite film. One of. One of. What did you think of Leatherface Origins? <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. I mean, like, this trailer, just watching this teaser, you know, like, it's yes. really easy to be a little bit uh, apprehensive about a movie like this. So I, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But as a teaser, I thought this looked really cool. And I've heard some crazy things about Inside, and it seems like they're bringing some of that uh, uh, for Forward just... filmmaking into here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, hey, you know, I mean, we've done Leatherface a lot of times. Well, foreign uh, filmmakers can be a little more ballsy, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can bring some, uh, some high tension to things. Oh, yeah. Texas Chainsaw is a series that is hard to get absolutely wrong for me because there's something that it's just inherently creepy about the nasty kind of backwoodsy sets they get and the sort of weird townsfolk that are always populating these movies and stuff. Uh, I've only seen one that I just absolutely was <laughs> kind of upset yeah, by. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I want them to succeed with this. We ran an interview with the, uh, the writer a long time ago, and he seemed to be talking an interesting game. I don't love the idea of going back to teenage Leatherface, but... Uh, you Why? Know. Let's ruin the mystique a little bit. Yeah, Come let's, on. Let's, uh, let's teach let's you a lot about him. this character yeah. who's partly scary because you just don't understand what he's about. Yeah, you know? that works. <laughs> Everyone loves that. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I mean, like, the version of the story I, I heard back then didn't seem like it couldn't work. And, you know, the, these images definitely looked pretty freaky yeah. and pretty intense. So, I don't know. This is, I'm, I'm excited to it see it. It looks to be a little bit more in the Michael Bay uh, produced arena than it does like the OG Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I know a few years ago there was like a Texas Chainsaw from the original director, right? Yeah. Not from the original director. He just endorsed it and said that it's the true sequel. Oh, he James Cameron that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> completely disregarding the sequel he directed. Something about this kind of feels like it might play out like Rob Zombie's Halloween for me in a way. I feel like you got to commit to one area and that this is where my concern comes in. You know, you, you got Leatherface Origins as a kid, a little baby, or not a baby, but a teenager. Then you're exploring that, and you're seeing his mom, and you're seeing, oh, this kid was always a creep, you know? And I, I enjoyed actually seeing that part of it. And then it seems like it's going to go into prequel syndrome, where halfway through, <laughs> it's going to become, oh, another typical Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Yeah. Some young, hot people are being, uh, you know, attacked by Leatherface. And they're being abducted. He's hacking them up. I mean, you need those elements. I know you need that stuff. There's a mean sheriff in town. <laughs> and it's Stephen Dorff! It seems like, yeah, man. Was that Stephen Dorff? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Blade. So I feel like halfway through the movie, it's going to fall on it. Kind of like what happened with Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning. You know, in a way. Because that was like a little prequel, then it was more prequel on the family yeah. than it was on Leatherface. I'm more interested, surprisingly, in like teenage Leatherface and his mom than I am in the last half of the, the trailer, the which was giving us exactly what Texas Chainsaw Massacre was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, the thing is, I think this is all supposed to take place, I think he's gonna be a teenager like the most of the movie. At least if what I read back when is, is still the case. I kind of agree with you, I'm like, yeah, at the same time, I don't want to see the same thing I've seen a bunch of times before. And this series has been a lot of different things, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of the installments are very different from one another. And it's weird. It's like, I feel like you do need some of that stuff. Like, you have to have teens getting hacked up because yeah. you know that's that's what it is but uh but yeah it's like i don't want this to be the kind of thing like what bummed me out a bit about the beginning was like okay you do this like couple minutes of like here's where he came from born on a butcher shop floor and then we just cut to just another leather face adventure yeah, yeah you know and that's what i don't want yeah it's like I, if we're gonna bother to go back i, I hope we make that part of the point. Well, that's why I was referencing Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah. Because I felt like, you know, a good half of that movie is an actual prequel and origin, and then the last half is like, oh, just a Halloween movie. Well, and that's, a, that's a, actually a good, a good call, because I think he was talking about having this be, like, partly he's committed and then he breaks out or something. Ah. And then he finds these kids and they are, they're, like, traveling across the country yeah. or something. But in terms of style, the style looks great. Yeah, The style yeah. looks, it looks different. And it looks like they're actually shooting this 
and um, a much more visually appealing, nasty way. Yeah. Because if you feel an awesome <laughs> sense of really stylized, composed cinematography. Yeah. In these shots, I mean, there's some, there is some fantastic shots in here that are disturbing but cool to look at at the same time. Yeah. You know. And they have there are a number of shots in here that have a lot of tension without showing you tons. You yeah. Know? Like one image, you know, there's a lot of proximity. There's a lot of like. Guns and chainsaws close to people's faces. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. That sh that shot where the chainsaw is really close to that one guy's face was really like that's intense. That's just because he's like toying with his food. Yeah, and I love when killers do that. Yeah. I've done that before as a, as a little kinky way. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, BDSM. Uh, it Let did not turn out well. Latex face. I ended up having to wear her because oh, I was like, well, now that I've accidentally gone this far. <laughs> Might as well commit to the bit now. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you can never. You got to fall on that sword. You got to commit hard. You know, and if yeah. the bit's not working, you just got to go with it, man. And then it's professional. once the drugs wore off, I realized this is what I want to do for life. <laughs> yeah, this is a dark joke. <laughs> this, this joke has got very disturbing. Well, which is good. It's a Texas Chainsaw video, yeah. I guess. I guess that's what you that's might for. as well, John. That's the way I operate. Yeah, and 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 you know, on the photography, what one thing I do like, spiritually important, is like you do kind of feel how hot and sticky everything is. Yeah, and that's something that that always is a Texas Chainsaw thing that you need. You know, here's what I'll say about what I liked from this trailer as well. I get this sense that they might work more on tension building on this one, yeah. suspense and psychological horror as well. You know, there's like that, 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 you know, the Hitchcock Jaws shot at one point, 53 seconds, that like, oh, what yeah. was that shot called? We're like zooming in, but it's kind of zooming in. I, I don't that, know what I'm, to call that, but that's yeah. That's Jaws, you, that's in Hitchcock. Where you, you know? push in and zoom out at the same time, yeah. where you push out and zoom in at the same time, so you yeah. make that weird depth of field stretch yeah, yeah. Uh, or crunch. And I, I don't know, when I see a shot like that, it's sometimes when I see that, I, I assume this director liked those kind of cinematic classic films yeah. that would do angles such as that. And it also seems composed in the way kind of how that movie High Tension was done. Yeah. And the gore looks a little ridiculous too, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't look, I, I, I can't, I can't, I'm all for, you know, realistic, gory, grisly stuff. At the same time, though, this feels a little more heightened, and I feel like Leatherface, the the character, is at a point where you can do that. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, and I hope the movie, I hope that the movie matches this trailer in those spiritual elements. That shot where he shotguns somebody and that blood blast comes up, and that looks like real blood. You know, like that was, I think, in the reaction we both went, "Whoa!" Yeah. Like, you know, because, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like, you know, the, the play of tension and then uh, the release like that, I, I worked in this yeah. trailer and I it's hope like they bring that to the movie. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Tension and then exactly. release. Yeah. Pay the compliment yeah. and then fall it up with a joke. It's all about the chase. Charisma on command. Watch that guy's it's channel. All about the chase. <laughs> I think that this could be an entertaining good time. It feels like it could be better than the last few Texas Chainsaw movies yeah. we've gotten. I hope it is. Mm -hmm. I feel like visually, stylistically, and tonally, I feel like in my head, I even like the music choice they had over it. I don't like that ironic stuff. Yeah, you I know? do too. Like happy go lucky, <laughs> old school music over violent imagery. Yeah. I love that. Eat that stuff up. I know you're looking forward to it, and yeah. I'll be there regretting going to the theater with you <laughs> and then probably enjoy myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I think at least as far as this red band trailer goes, I like what I saw here. There have been some uneven installments of this series, but um, I've heard great things about Inside. I like the imagery here. I like that they're focusing a bit more on suspense, and then when the blood comes, it pops. Yeah. And I hope that translates into the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty interested in what they're doing here. So, I think it could work. I hope it could work. Well, you guys can subscribe to The Real Reject. Click that notification bell. Click that notification bell. Click that notification bell. California. <laughs> John is that John Humphrey on Twitter and Instagram, social media manager at Blumhouse.com. And as always, you can check out our exclusive perks and rewards over at Patreon.com slash The Real Rejects, yeah. where all contributions go directly to helping keep this channel alive, and you also get some fun stuff along with it, too. Huzzah! Trade.